Hello guys. Today I'm going to look at some quick tips for starting out in uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. And if you're just starting out, it can be uh, quite daunting and uh, you can get killed by other players. So what you can always do is uh, enter passive mode through the options menu. That way other players cannot kill you while you're on foot. And that way you can uh, explore a little bit in uh, Grand Theft Auto Online without getting killed by another player right off the bat. When you first arrive in Los Santos with your new character, you're tasked with stealing a car. And the car I'm walking around now is a standard car that you can pick up and actually own from the beginning. So what you want to do is uh, the first car you steal and bring to the mod shop, it uh, needs to be a car that you actually want to keep. Because uh, the first one you bring in, you are allowed to get insurance and a tracker for it for free, which means you'll have that car for, for quite a while. After this, every uh, 45 minutes of real time, you can bring in a new stolen car and sell it at the mod shop. And it has to be a standard car, it can't be a premium car, so they'll say it's too hot. Also, you can't own premium cars without buying them off the internet in the game. You can't steal them and, and enter your garage with them or something like that, or go to the mod shop and have a tracker and, and insurance installed. You have to buy them. All other cars, you can uh, either just drive into your garage or you can bring it to the mod shop and have them install a tracker and you can also get insurance for the car. That way you will have a, a number for mutual insurance in your phone that you can always call and get a new car if it gets blown up or stolen. You can also find it with the tracker so it becomes your car. Here we are entering the mod shop and we are going to sell this SUV. So I click the sell button and you will see that I can get $2,596 for this SUV and the price will vary depending on the car's condition and uh, which type it is. The next thing you want to get is a new gun because the one you start out with is not so great. So here you can see that I just got hit by another player in a car and I'll take a pot shot at him when he uh, leaves the area. So you need to uh, get rid of your vintage gun and get a better gun. So we'll go to ammunition and uh, pick up a new gun instead of the starter gun so you have a fighting chance. So what you want to do is go to the right wall and check out the guns and find uh, something you like. Something that does some damage and has some accuracy like these two, like the special carbine that I have bought and uh, I'm using. And I think this might be a DLC gun. And uh, as you can see here you can buy uh, modules for it, like a scope, suppressor, grip, extended clip and so on and so on. But uh, at first you don't need to spend money on that, you just need to buy a gun. So you have a fighting chance for a PvP and uh, have a, an easier time doing combat missions. When you buy a gun, you get to keep it always. You can always go back to ammunition and get your gun back. You never have to pay for the same gun twice. When you buy body armor, that is uh, in effect uh, extra uh, health points for you. As you can see, you will have a blue bar also. And if that's dimmed out, you don't have any body armor. You never have to equip body armor. It's uh, automatically equipped. So you'll start using it when you buy it. If you're carrying around more than $5,000 in cash, then other players can steal that cash from you. So what you want to do is open up your phone, go to money and services, Go to mazebank.com and then you can deposit money that you have in cash straight into the bank. You don't actually have to go to an ATM to do this. You can do it straight, straight from your phone. From your phone you can also access quick jobs and that will put you in a queue for any job available like races and uh, combat missions and so forth. You can also access your job list and here you will find invites from uh, other players to do missions and you will also find the story missions and story missions open up as you rank up so more will become available when you hit a higher rank and story missions uh, can be missions that you get from Simeon and Lamar and other characters when you rank up other options will also become available like uh, more mods for your car so you can go faster, you can put armor on it and you can put turbos and stuff like that and you can customize it and all of uh, those options will start opening up the higher rank you get You'll also be able to buy a garage when you rank up and you can buy properties and you'll also be able to buy better guns. 
in order to uh, increase your skills, you just have to use them. So here you see me driving around and I'm automatically increasing my uh, driving skill. You can max out all of your skills, it's uh, not a problem, you just have to play a lot. So it doesn't really matter which uh, skill distribution you, you chose to begin with. So when you made some money, it's time to get your first garage. Go to Money and Services and go to the Dynasty 8 Realty. Here you can view all of the property listings. As you can see, the expensive ones are at the top. And those are apartments and houses with garages. But at first you'll only be able to afford a garage. So we'll scroll way down until you reach something that you can afford. And you can click on a garage or any other listing and see where that is located on the map. And you can zoom in and out of the map. And it matters where it's located because it'll be your new spawn point for your character. So it's a good idea to pick a, a location where you don't mind spawning for missions and so forth. Typically uh, that would be downtown, as you can see this is located way up north, so that might not be uh, a be the best place to get. When you have bought your first garage, then you'll automatically also receive a mechanic, and you can call the mechanic on your cell phone and he'll bring one of your personal vehicles to you. You can uh, go and pick up and steal vehicles and bring them uh, into your garage and they'll become yours automatically. They'll have installed a tracker and insurance. If you buy vehicles online, they'll be delivered to your garage and they'll also automatically have a tracker and be insured. Um, so, so the garage will be your new base of operations going forward. The quickest way to rank up and earn money is to do missions. But you can also rob grocery stores and uh, sell cars that you steal at the mod shop. But by far the quickest way is to just uh, do the missions. And if you do well on some of the missions, you'll make a lot of money. Good luck out there in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'll uh, catch you guys next time. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you uh, found this uh, video helpful.